Hey there, it's Erin Clark from wellplated.com and I have a healthy dessert you're going to love. This is my strawberry crisp. If you are into easy, healthy recipes, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. I share a new one every single week. Now, to kickstart our crisp topping, I have in this bowl a quarter cup of butter that I melted together with a quarter cup of coconut oil. I did it in a very fancy device called the microwave. So this is gonna become the base of our crisp topping. It's gonna to make it really nice and buttery and golden. Now, I start out with some white whole wheat flour. I really love white whole wheat flour because it is super mild in flavor, but it gives you all of the wonderful whole grains that you get from a regular whole wheat flour. Next, we have a two thirds cup of rolled oats. For me, I just love the way that oats get all nutty and toasty in the oven. It gives the crisp a really nice crunch. Now, to sweeten it up a bit, we have some coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is similar in flavor to brown sugar, so if you want, you can swap that in. I like coconut sugar because I think it's a little bit more caramely in flavor. For wonderful flavor, we have a bit of cinnamon, some baking powder to help make the filling kind of clump up and get a really nice texture to it. Granulated sugar, gotta sweeten it up just a little bit more. And one of my favorite stealthy crisp toppings, which is some fresh lemon zest. The crisp doesn't taste too overtly lemony. Rather, this just really kind of brightens it up and adds a touch of freshness that is so fantastic. If you want to vary it up, you could also swap the lemon zest for orange zest. And now, all you have to do is give this a stir. Some crisp toppings call for you to cube the butter and then cut it in with a pastry blender. I honestly find that melted butter is just as delicious and it is so much faster and less fussy because all you need is a spatula to stir it. Now, this is going to get nice and clumpy. Some of the clumps will be big, some of them will be small. It's totally fine. You just wanna keep stirring this until the dry bits of flour disappear. So I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm going to move on to my crisp filling. I actually like to pop it into the refrigerator and that helps the butter get a little bit cool and then when it goes into the oven, the butter expands the little water pockets in it and that is what makes our crisp so nice and crunchy. So now we are going to move on to our strawberry filling which starts with, you guessed it, fresh strawberries. Every summer, I just cannot stop myself from going strawberry crazy. I buy them at the grocery store. I usually go strawberry picking with my girlfriends. And before I know it, I have an entire refrigerator chock full of them. So the perfect thing to do is make this strawberry crisp. Now, some of your berries might be larger, like this one. And in that case, I kind of like to cut it into chunks about like this. You know, if it, you have a really big half, you can divide it in half again. The idea is that all of the berries are just roughly the same size, and that way they bake evenly when they're inside the filling. If you don't have fresh strawberries on hand or if you're making this crisp out of season, you can use frozen strawberries as well. I like to let them thaw overnight in the fridge and then pat away any excess juices that might have come off when the strawberries were thawing. You also can make this recipe with blueberries or any of your favorite summer fruits. I cannot wait until fresh peaches are in season later this summer because I'm going to be eating peach crisp nonstop. But you can use the same topping for all of them, which is great. All right, so now that our strawberries are in, I'm gonna add a few other ingredients to make this filling delicious and sweet. First one is actually honey. I like to make this crisp with honey just because I think the honey adds a really nice balance to the strawberries, and I really like that it is more natural too. Next, I am going to add some cornstarch. Cornstarch helps thicken up the crisp filling. It won't be overly thick by any means at all. It's still gonna have some nice juiciness, but without the cornstarch, it would be really liquidy. Next, some vanilla extract. I am gonna be honest, I never really measure vanilla extract. The main thing is that you're using pure vanilla extract. None of this imitation business. Our strawberries deserve the best, and so do you. 
Now, remember when I mentioned that lemon? So in addition to the zest that's in our topping, I really like to put the juice inside of the crisp filling as well. Again, it just gives you that lovely citrusy burst and provides nice balance. Now, all that is left to do is give this a big stir. Now, right now, the filling looks kind of liquidy, but that is totally okay. As it bakes in the oven, those juices are going to turn into the most gooey, wonderful strawberry filling with the help of the cornstarch. All right, that is it. Now we move on to the exciting part, baking it. And then the hard part, which is where we have to wait for it to bake, but it's gonna be worth it. So I have here a nine by nine inch baking dish, and I'm going to pour our strawberry filling along with those wonderful juices right in. I can smell the freshness of the berries. It just, to me, smells like summer. You can get all of the honey and strawberry juice that collected at the bottom of the bowl in there too. It's good stuff. All right, now I'm gonna grab our topping out of the fridge and sprinkle it all over the top. Even just those few minutes in the fridge can really help the crisp become its most golden and wonderful. And then just grab it and sprinkle it all over the top with wild abandon. I'm not gonna lie, it's taking a lot of willpower not to just eat this crisp topping directly out of the bowl. I love fruit crisp. Just get this as even as you can, it doesn't need to be perfect. So now I'm going to pop this into a 375 degree oven for about 40 to 50 minutes and in the oven the crisp filling is going to become bubbly and hot and juicy and the topping is going to become golden and smell absolutely intoxicating. I'll see you in about 45. The moment has arrived. Our strawberry crisp is out of the oven and it smells absolutely heavenly. I have been very patient to let it cool just a little bit, but it's still warm. The filling smells really just jammy and fruity. I'm getting this almost like fruit pie scent from the crust topping. It smells like heaven and I cannot wait to take a bite. So I am going to eat it my absolute favorite way, which is in a bowl smothered with vanilla ice cream. Because this is more of a healthy fruit crisp, sometimes I will sneak it out of the refrigerator in the morning and top it off with a little bit of Greek yogurt. It's like a parfait one million times better. Oh my goodness, just look at that topping. It is so crispy and golden. It smells like cinnamon. And as you can see, this filling is still just a tiny bit liquidy now. That is completely fine. It's going to set up more as the crisp cools but I actually really enjoy that kind of juiciness. It's wonderful when it is mixed with the vanilla ice cream. I mean, really, there's only one way to know if it's good, and that's to take a big old bite. Mmm, it's perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Erin Clark, and you can find the full recipe on my website, wellplated.com. See you later.